Pump the brakes there, gang. Get over to that RUGarbage.com and pick up some AYG gear. Mm -hmm. We're talking T Zippo style lighters. You got the Kippies heaters Ooh. and cooling. You got the garbage shirts. You got the Bernie shirts. Do yourself a favor. Pick something up for the one you love. Also, it's the one-stop shop for all AYG live show tickets, baby. There's still some tickets left to the second show, but it's going to sell out in Red Bank, New Jersey. Get those tickets now Friday, August 11th. Don't snooze because you're going to lose. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they grow up to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. <sighs> I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. She's out in the Poconos, okay. picking up a couple lifeguarding shifts. <laughs> okay. Can't swim. But she can make a 911 call if she needs uh, okay, to. Fair enough. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me, unamused this week. Uh -huh. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage, <laughs> and he's my best pal in the whole wide world, even though we don't laugh at my jokes. <laughs> Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube, as you know those numbers are. True to roof. And then the greatest website <laughs> of all time in the books. Call up Guinness. It's Let's in go. the books. www.patreon.com slash Are You Garbage, gang. Sign up Woo! over there. It's a goddamn party. We're having fun over there, gang, and having a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man. Mm -hmm. Makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Give it up for T Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? What's up, pal? What Dude, up, I'm though? stoked. We got one of the young guns. Got a in cool the kid in here. Looks Fucking. like he knows his way around an Xbox controller and a 3D Dorito. Yeah, I'm trying to fudge my TikTok numbers. <laughs> Let him know that I'm in the know. I know what's going on. <laughs> Gang, the long hair ain't lying. We couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest here with us today for the first time. He is one of the rising stars Ooh. over there in the Barstool universe. universe you can hear. <laughs> God damn it, I look cool on the rip. <laughs> now he's not going to kiss you. Now I'm not getting invited to the Hamptons this weekend. <laughs> you can hear him every week on Son of a Boy, Dad, and of course the Yak. Give it up for Lil Sass, hey. everybody. There Thank he you. is. Thank you. Internet phenom. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Never combed his hair. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no. Look at him. God, man, my hair is a prize. It's a, <laughs> been trying to figure it out for 22 years. And I still haven't. What are you putting in that? Everything. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was going to be nothing. And my, it's everything. Dude, my hair is like stick straight. So if I don't put anything in it, it's just like a bowl cut. Jeez, yeah, that's a tough look. It's it's tough. It's hard. Look like a little Danish boy. Yeah, right around. I know. It probably it's looks bad right now. I wish I could see. No, it looks. It's great. Yeah, it looks perfectly yeah, disheveled. Yeah, yeah, you have the I don't care. Yeah, I care type. Thing. Yeah, but I do. I do care so much. <laughs> oh, I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't I mean, tell people that publicly. I, if I didn't care, I would not put anything in it. <laughs> Give Three us, hours on this. <laughs> Give us the backstory. Where did you grow up? I have my ideas. I'm from Massachusetts, from the suburbs of Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah. Mom, I, uh, dad, brother, sisters. Yeah, I got a mother, a father. And I have <laughs> both say. of them, and I have uh, three sisters. Three sisters. Are you the yeah. youngest? No, I am the second oldest. I have two younger sisters and one older sister. Okay, and how far apart are they? Uh, my older sister's like a year older than me. All and right. And my younger sister is four years younger than me, and then my other younger one is maybe six years younger than me. So they're in high school. One of them just graduated high school like two weeks ago, and the other one is going into high school. Holy, oh, holy shit. shit. You are by shit. far the youngest person we've yeah. had on the show. Yeah. By like a decade. Yeah, probably. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Did you break your brother off anything for the graduation? I don't have a brother. Sister. Uh, sister. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I if did. I did have her, a brother. I gave her cash. Oh, how much? All we right. were just talking about that. I gave her $500. What? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. All right, class act. <laughs> Saving all that money on hair products. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's a graduation. No, that's good. We were yeah. just talking. You were, what were you going to do, 100 or 50? I was going to do four. For who? For my cousin who's graduating high school. Oh, I wouldn't get my cousin anything. <laughs> yeah. It's my younger sister. He owes me 20 yeah. bucks. Yeah. Sure. What'd your parents say about that? Uh, my dad tried to not let her have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, she can have 100 of it. It was actually like a whole thing. I was on my way to the train station going back to New York, and he was mm -hmm. like, she can have 100. 
And then I had to call him and be like, "What the? This is my money?" I was like, "What the fuck are yeah, you talking yeah, about?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. But, uh, yeah. What did uh, What did your parents do? I'm sorry. No. What do you mean? What What do they do for work? My dad works in insurance, and my mom. <laughs> I thought you meant for graduation. That's yeah, right. yeah, that's what I thought you what meant too. He gave her fifty bucks. <laughs> yeah. You're making me look like a jerk <laughs> off out of here, sass. <laughs> you and all your New York money. Get out of here. The quarter's been slow. What do you want from me? <laughs> Holy shit! Your dad works in insurance. Yeah. My Sales. Mo- uh, like IT. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And your mom? My mom has not had a job since for a while. Okay. Yeah. So your dad. dad's doing all right. My dad's doing good, yeah. How old are your parents who don't mind me asking? They've got to be your age. I was thinking that. Oh. They're for sure your age. He, they're 50s. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, my my dad's... I Dude, I have no idea. I'm really bad. I'm really <laughs> These bad young kids, that. I tell you. My, 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 they're both over 50. I know they're both over 50. Okay. All right. Like 52, 53, 55. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, my dad's younger than my mom by like two years. I and think. how old are you exactly? 22. So I could be your dad. How old are you? 47. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Really? Are you actually 47? Yeah, 47. 47. Damn, you look, you look young. They need to clean that room, I'll tell you yeah, that. I know. I'm 28. Are you really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I don't know. We had a uh, fucking war mode on our podcast. Oh, yeah. Literally, dude, Billy's 30? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Billy looks like he's fucking 60. I know. <laughs> dude, I was, I was like, dude, you're eight years older than me? <laughs> T-Bone's seven. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, oh. podcasting, you're really aging. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so, uh, they, you still live in the same house that you grew up in, I assume, your right? Pa- yeah. Parents yeah. Do, yeah. Um, what's that situation? Is it you don't, don't give it away, but is it a street? Is it a road? Is it an avenue? Is it like... You know, Mockingbird Lane, Avenue, Road. Uh, well, actually, no. We moved once. Okay, yeah, so road, give us that. Lane. Okay. We moved in the, within the same town. Okay. okay. Yeah. Is that, are you close to Boston? Is it Boston? It's like uh, 30, 40 minutes from Boston. Okay. No one's actually from Boston. Right. Right. Right, right, right. People like to say they are. Sure. Yeah. I tell people I'm from Boston. Okay. From 45 minutes away from Boston. Yeah, yeah but that's, go. I mean, that's one of those things. It's like, you know, if you said the name of your town and you go, where's that? And you go 45 minutes outside. But yeah, Culturally, exactly. you're from Boston. Exactly. Like, yes. You root for the sports teams. It's, yeah. You're, you're, yeah, 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 of course. Huh. All right. Okay. What was the supermarket they shopped at growing up and now? Ooh, that's a good one. Market uh, Basket. Hannaford's. Whoa. Hannaford's sounds nice. Was the one that I grew, we grew up shopping at, and I think now it's Stop and Shop. Stop Ooh. and Shop's a good. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Not bad. High school? Yeah. Went. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a vague question. <laughs> <laughs> Did it? Yep. Yeah, what was the name of the mascot? Dragons. The dragon. Wow, the dragon. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's kind of new agey, though, maybe. No? I yeah, had like Harry Potter vibes. For well, what were your mascots? <laughs> I was the Hawks. Yeah, I was the Hawks. Yeah. Trojans. Trojans. We'll say Trojans, Trojans is a popular one. Yeah, Trojans. Everyone's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was easy. You slap the guy on there. Yeah, you're good. yeah. <laughs> Trojans are easy. Put some kid in a helmet running around yeah. in football games. Saving the artwork. Uh, how were the grades in high school? Really bad. Really, really bad. We were Dude, actually high just, for him I was was just like talking about this. Three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Well, I was in the middle of the pandemic, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did uh, terrible in high school. Did you take the SATs? I did. And what'd you get on them? Terrible. It's out of 20, it was out of 2,600. No, For it, you, it probably would have been 16. 1,600. Yeah, yeah, what'd you yeah. get? Oh. I got an 870, so don't feel bad. All right. I got, I think I got it up to an 11 or That's maybe a 10. That's great. What do you mean? That's four digits. We operate. But I took four. it multiple times. Oh, gotcha. Did they take it? Did you have to get tutored for it? Yeah, because uh, I huh? did the I did the first time like little studying, mm-hmm. little tutoring, and I was like, dude, I fucking aced that. And then I got it back, and I got like a seven ten. <laughs> yeah, Holy shit. which is like I think you get four hundred points yeah. if you write your name. Yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, showing up's half the thing, you know. Yeah, that was really bad. <sighs> oh, okay. Did you go to college? Did you go to school? I went to school for like six months. Where'd you go? Uh, DePaul in Chicago. That's a good school. Eh, it's okay. Isn't it? The Paul's a good school to get into. Uh, I think it's you, pretty easy to get. And then in. you dropped out. Dropped out. Yeah, you're a college dropout. Yes. Look and at look, him. Look at you now. Kid. Kids doing uh-huh. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, how were your parents? How did your parents react when you wanted to drop out? Of so I dropped out. So I got sent home. This was right in the beginning of the pandemic. Was when I was a freshman in college. Holy Jesus shit, Christ, dude. Yeah. I had already crashed and burned. <laughs> that was like I was dude the pandemic. I was like a phoenix rising yeah. from the ashes. I still had a wicked drug problem. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. So I dropped out right when I. So the pandemic happened like That's six crazy. months in, and then I got sent home, 
And then I was at home and I was started doing bad. I was doing good in college up until then. Right. And then Barstool reached out to me and then I got hired there and then I dropped out right away. And then my parents were like, I was like, the original plan was like, I'm going to give it a year. If it doesn't work out, I'll go back to school. So you had to do online classes at home? For like three months. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. That's, were you back in your old room? Uh, yeah, I was mostly just sitting in the basement, just fucking playing Minecraft. A lot of Minecraft. Jesus I went through a big Minecraft phase at that time. Kids these days. Yeah. My nephew plays that. He's like, Dude, Ed. Minecraft is fun as fuck. If you, if you tried playing Minecraft, you'd be like, oh, this is awesome. That's the one that's all pixelated, yeah, right? Yeah, it's fun. I keep, thinking, very of relaxing I keep thinking of Minesweeper, and I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I was like, damn, this kid's, kid's really loving Windows, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, huh, okay. a young buck. Huh, what were the pets like growing up? Uh, we had dogs all my life. Uh, okay. Ran through a couple of them, <laughs> like you know. Sure. And then now I have two dogs. Okay, yeah. Your family has two dogs. Family has two dogs. Okay. I have what, no dogs. What kind of dogs are they? Uh, like mixes, a bunch of shit. Okay. Yeah. Your parents are adoption people. Yeah. Okay. What are the names? Lilo and Stitch. Ooh. We did not pick those names. That's how they they, they came, came named. Really? Okay. Yes. Stole them from Disney. I know. Right? <laughs> I know. Um, huh. Where'd your parent? Where'd your dad go to college? Babson. Babson. In what the fuck is that? Babson's in Wellesley, Massachusetts. What's, okay. And what's huh. their what's their lineage? Did your parents come from money? They start from the bottom? No, neither of them come from money. Okay. My dad came from money, and then they lost all of it. All right. <laughs> I know that story. <laughs> and then and then yeah, then they were like poor as fuck. And he grinded his way out of it. Yeah. I imagine he does pretty good. My dad does good, yeah. What's My, he whipping around town in? What kind of car does he drive? Uh, BMW. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You got a pool in that backyard? No. No pool. No pool. Garage? No. No garage. No garage. How many single family home or like a townhouse, a condo? Is it? We just have a driveway. Driveway. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many bedrooms is the house? Forty-two. Five. (laughs) Right. It's a five-bedroom house. It's for uh, we all. our own room. Okay. Yeah, I guess that my makes sense. My dad right. and my mom share a room. Really? <laughs> I know, right? What's that? So like? we're kind of slumming it. <laughs> Closing deals, huh? <laughs> they sleep in bunk beds. What uh, is your, what's it? <laughs> <laughs> They're not doing anything weird up there. Um, if we went back to your house right now, what would your bedroom look like? Would it look like, oh, this is a guest room? Or would it be like, oh, this is, is this it still made up? Room? No, it's it's like a guest room. Okay. There's nothing in it. All right. Yeah. Do you have any posters on your wall no, growing no, up? No, it's I did growing up, but well, it's right my right. bedroom's completely empty. And well, what's down in the basement? Is it is it finished? Mm, no. So what were you doing? Oh, when I No. So you were just you were literally down in the basement, like next to the dehumidifier playing Minecraft. Yeah, pretty much. It's kind of a shitty basement. It's it's I wouldn't say it's finished. Were you smoking doobies down there? No, I was drinking a lot. <laughs> I we but like it was like no one would go out and buy beer, so I had to drink like thirteen percent IPAs. <laughs> That had like flakes at the bottom of Were you twenty one at the time? No. Okay. <laughs> I was eighteen. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Or nineteen. I guess I was nineteen at the time. <laughs> this kid plays it fast and loose. <laughs> what was indoor uh, tight, I'm not sure. <laughs> what was your jobs growing up? Did you start did you work when you were a kid? Yeah. I uh whew. I had some I, I, I was just bad at I was bad at everything. You know? Old soul were you guys good thing. at things when you were younger? Like did you guys play sports or anything? Yeah. Yeah? What'd yeah. you play? I wasn't good at anything. Football wrestling and the cross. Oh wow, you were an athlete. Yeah, a little bit. Played the cool sports. Yeah, Lac- I played lacrosse for like two years. Okay, sucked. All right, <laughs> women's. <laughs> yeah, I would have been probably better at women's. Australian league. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I had a, I did a lot of landscaping. I started like a landscape. I started like a landscaping company when I was like in eighth grade. Now <laughs> we're talking. As it was called, puppet. four guys, one job. <laughs> How many guys? Like come were over, there? use your lawnmower. Yeah, no, that's exactly what we would do. <laughs> hey, there's no gas in this thing. Yeah, that's exactly what we Wait, would do. Wait, you would? You yeah, would... and we would walk to the houses because we none of us could drive, so we would just sure. walk everywhere. And then what? Say, hey, I'll use your. Yeah, that was part of the whole deal. So like, you guys need to have. You got to have a lawnmower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A weed whacker. Yeah, it was kind of like it was more like odd jobs. Like one time we moved. One time, me and one of my buddies, we had to move like a thousand just uh, cinder blocks. From like one place to another, and I actually like exploded a tendon in my arm doing it because it was so much, so many blocks moving around. Oh, this kid's wild. <laughs> he's a go getter. <laughs> Did and you then, start an LLC and all that stuff? Hell no, no. It no. was it, a cash, cash business. Yeah, this was like two summers, and then I got a. Then I started do. I was a bus boy for a while. And what kind was, of restaurant? Uh, it was just like the, the one of the town restaurants, mm-hmm. just a normal restaurant, okay. and uh, 
that was bad. That was pretty bad. I, I was really bad at that. I couldn't. It was a big restaurant, like t- 200 tables maybe. And they would be like, bring this to 193D. <laughs> And I'd be like, I don't know where the fuck is 193D, <laughs> and then I'd have to stare at the fucking uh, at the chart, at the chart, yeah. and then I and then I'd have to go back out and be like, fuck, I forget where it is. And yeah. I have to go back in and find the chart again. I, I know that oh, panic man. and yeah. shame yeah. of like yeah. every second seems like an hour. Because yeah. you go back to the kitchen, they yeah. freak out. And oh, what are you yeah. doing? I told you to bring that to yeah. 192D. Dude, yeah. I would get yelled at a lot. Yeah. I brought out. Uh, I, I started like getting confident and bringing food out to tables and then one day there was like a 12 person party big ass table in like a private room and they got someone got the fish tacos and I saw the fish tacos were under like the hot lamp thing so I was like alright I'm gonna bring the fish tacos out bring them out go back to doing work and someone else comes into the kitchen like who the fuck brought out the fish tacos <laughs> And I was like, hi, I just hid in the dish pit. And then sure. I had to have a sit down meeting mid shift with the chef and the manager in his in the manager's office. And they were like, the fish tacos were ready an hour before the rest of the food. So that guy's done with his food. And there's oh, 45 minutes for everyone else's man. food to come out. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. That's also, you know, you fucked up when the chef sits down in an office. <laughs> yeah. He's in the weeds. He's like, I got to go yeah. yell at this 18, this 15 year old kid. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. And then I had a job uh, at like a pizza sub place. What was the name of the pizza place in your town? I was going to ask. Uh, that one wasn't in my town. That one was in the town next to me. It was, uh, that one was called a Cravings. Okay. And then there was like a Bench Warmers. Ooh. Which was actually good. I don't good know pizza. What that is. Good pizza. Is that where would you guys get your pizza growing up? There. You would bench, bench warmers. warmers. Get it from bench warmers. Yeah, craving sucked. Okay. I mean, I was doing the pizzas. Oh Holy my God. shit! Yeah, I was like the head of the pizza operation. And then I got, fi- <laughs> I got fired. The head of the pizza operation. <laughs> yeah, I got fired bad. I'm the CEO of Pepperoni <laughs> right now. You know who you're talking to. <laughs> this dude really spins it. Yeah. <laughs> I had I had a landscaping company. <laughs> you bought lawns <laughs> with other people's lawns. No, but it was mine. We would post on like the Facebook uh, groups. And we'd be like, odd jobs. I'm the director of Za, man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to four guys and your equipment. <laughs> uh, what I became you? like a man. Dude, I became like the the, the head of the, that operation, though, because I would. Stop saying that. No, but I was. I was. I was. I really I was. I was CFO. <laughs> <laughs> There's no operation no, no. I've heard of This yet. there was. The four guys, one job. I would wake up and I'd be tired and I would just start sending other dudes out to do the job. I had like, I had like a 20 dudes working for me really from my bed i wasn't making any of the money anybody older than you uh no like you weren't sending out grown men or anything hell no no no. so at one point it became 20 dudes and i and And i would still have to select my top guys you you select my top (laughs) hey ricky you know you're 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 one of my top guys right as a director in this operation come into my office for a minute don't mind the minecraft um Uh, what were the family vacations like we didn't really go on vacation a lot at all uh, we went to Florida once or once or twice. Disney? Uh, we went to Disney when I was really young. I don't even remember that. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, we'd go to, like, to ca- sit down to the Cape Cod a lot. My grandparents lived okay. on the Cape. Okay. So we'd go down there. That's Stay like, at your yeah, grandparents' like, place? Yeah, going down the shore for yeah. us. Yeah. Huh. And sports, you just played lacrosse for a little bit. I played, I mean, I played everything growing up. I played baseball, soccer, hockey. I played hockey for a really long time. That was kind of like my sport for a okay. while. S- was really bad at it. And then uh, I was not, I'm not, I'm not athletic. kind of my sport. I was really bad <laughs> I mean, at I was it. not athletic. And then I played golf for in high school, which was actually awesome. Nice. Was there like, a nice course in, in your hometown? So we would play on the nice course. Yeah. Cool. It was a private course, but it, you would pay, you'd, you had to make the team, but then you'd pay, it was like $250 for a season. And then you'd play on the nice course every single day for the, all of the fall. It's pretty That's sick. All right. Yeah. Pretty, pretty were were fun. your parents members of the course? No. No? No. Not golf people? No. Uh, my club? dad is a little bit now, but it's still not members. Okay. Do you still golf or no? I haven't played in a while. Okay. Are you still on your parents' insurance? Yes. Are nice. you on their cell phone plan? No. Okay, okay. your own cell phone plan. On cell phone plan. I have like all that. He's the director of telecommunications. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at Four Guys, One Job. <laughs> four Guys, One Job. Yeah, Four Guys, One Job actually covers my insurance. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no-show <laughs> job. Yeah, you got great benefits. <laughs> Could give it up. Uh, huh. uh, braces as a kid. Yeah. Nice. How long did you wear them? Jeez, too long. Too long? I think all of middle school and then if, up until freshman year of high school. I Were you bad like with them? through. Ah, uh, yeah. Dude, he's crushing that vape. Too. I know. <laughs> it's kind of hot under these lights, huh, Sass? <laughs> so you're going through a divorce, man. 
She took half the business. I'm down to two guys. <laughs> two guys, no job. You, 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 you are the embodiment of what every 60-year-old guy yeah. thinks Gen Z is. I yeah. know. Uh, I know. <laughs> Sitting here in a Ghostbusters t-shirt. You put on a shirt and tie when you come to our house. <laughs> He's wearing the Ghostbusters <laughs> tee, ironically, too, which is crazy. <laughs> Kev, let's talk about Rocket Money. Rocket Money. They got this goddamn inflation on. Who knows what's going on Jamming out there? the kids up, this You're gosh looking darn for inflation. ways to save a couple of bucks. Uh-huh. Rocket Money is the way to go. It tells you what subscriptions you have. And if you want to cancel them, right there. You chop it on the chopping block. A lot of people think they're doing about, what, 80? Uh-huh. Something like that. About 80 a month? Yeah. It's really about 200. Ooh, yeah, you ain't lying. Rocket Money quickly and easily finds your subscription and cancels the ones you no longer want. I didn't realize I was signed up for Butt Plug of the Week. <laughs> I wasn't even getting the gosh darn packages. Yikes. Canceled that. Toot sweet money back in my pocket. It also helps manage your finances by category- categorizing your expenses so you can see where that paycheck is going. User... <clears throat> The user saved up to seven hundred and twenty dollars per year. There Hachi you go. Machi. That's a couple of C notes in the pocket. Sure. Over three million three million people have used Rocket Money to get a handle on their budget. Stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash garbage. That's rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Rocketmoney.com slash garbage gang. Do it. Mm-hmm. Kip, let's talk about butcher box, baby. You mean the box of butchers? Let's talk about man, just going to your freezer. And just seeing a whole treasure trove mm-hmm. of free range chicken, of grass fed, grass finished beef. Mm-hmm. You I'm got t- talking burgers the size of your boobs, dude, big man. Good stuff. Woo. I got two racks of ribs in there that I'm waiting for a special occasion to break these babies out. We love Butcher Box, man. You don't know what you're getting when you're at the grocery store. You know, they change labels sometimes over there. Uh-huh. You think you're getting something fresh and it's from the Reagan administration. Yeah. You're feeding your kids green hot dogs. You don't uh, know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you can get your nutrition on point with the meats you can trust. Butcher Box sells humanely raised cuts with no antibiotics mm-hmm. or no hormones. Mm-mm. You can even customize your Butcher Box, get exactly the right kinds of meats for all your favorite meals. I let them do it because they know what they're doing and they send the kids sure. some, some fresh cuts. Yeah, surprise me. Uh, Butcher Box has a special deal just for the bozos. Sign up today. Shout out to it. Let's go. Butcher Bo- at butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG to receive free flank steak in every box Whoa. for three months. They're giving the flanks out. Flanks. Plus 20 bucks off your first order. No way. That's right, folks. Free flank steaks in every Don't box. Don't with those flank steaks. For three months, plus 20 bucks off your first order when you sign up at butcherbox.com slash AYG. They're giving a gosh darn farm away to this butcher box. Jesus. Use code AYG one more time. Butcherbox.com slash AYG. Promo code AYG. Do it, gang. Do it. Oh, <laughs> man. Crazy, dude. That is all right. Um, lunches growing up. Yeah. What would you would you bring to school? Bring every day. You would bring every day. Yeah. Who's making that lunch? My mother. Your mom would make it. Yeah. She you said down. that with a little disdain. Bad lunches. Bad really? lunches. Bad right. lunches. Why? She. You know what she would do? That would really like ru- day ruin her. You'd get to. I mean, lunch is like the be- It's like the only positive part of the of entire course. day in high school. And then you'd get to lunch. And I would open up my sandwich, and she would take the end pieces, and oh. she would flip them inside out, so you wouldn't know they were end pieces until you took a bite into the sandwich. And then you have two end pieces, and you're that like, sucks. you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's a day ruiner. It's a day ruiner. <laughs> what kind of Sammy's we talking? It was always turkey or PB&J. Okay. nothing ever in between that. What kind of drink she throwing in there? Soda? None? None? None. Water? No drink? Water. Yeah. A bottle of water. I would just have water at school. Jesus. Yeah. What about goldfish? Anything like that? Crackers. Sometimes pretzels. like a yeah. Sometimes like a bag of chips. It was really it was light light Yikes. lunches. What was the pantry like at home? Was that full or no? Mm. Were you one of those houses where it was like croutons and it's no, know, we got nothing. Sparkling I, 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 water. I still go home and I'm like, there's no food. And my mom's like, there's plenty of food. I'm like, well, I don't want to fucking make like a whole meal right now. I just want something to eat right now. No right snacks. I mean? No snacks. No good snacks. Jeez. Rough snacks. Rough snack life. Yeah. Chips. Mm. Usually chips. We always had chips, but that was pretty much it. And only dogs. No uh, no birds, no snakes, no nothing like no that? No birds or snakes, no. Okay. Huh. All right. Man. Huh. Wild. Yeah. No vacations. We would like, we, yeah, pretty much just go to the Cape a lot. That's what people do up there, though. Yeah, yeah. How, do you have your, how old were you when you got your passport? Ooh. 17. And where'd you go? I went to Europe. Okay. With the family? I went on a school trip. Okay. Yeah. To that where? That was actually really fun. That was, uh, we went to France and Italy. 
We took a train. All Hoity right. toity. Is this public school or private school? Public school. Public school. Yeah. Okay. Optional trip. Optional of course, trip. you got to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mom and dad's drunk for that, or is that four guys' money? That's four guys. Yeah, we had to take a loan out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my, <laughs> definitely my you're parents. Take, you're allowed to take one team trip as an LLC. <laughs> it's a write-off. Talk to my account. <laughs> Trying to expand operations into Europe. <laughs> Couldn't figure out the plugs, so we came back. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, what's the name of the mall in your hometown? Ooh, uh, it's changed a lot. It was the, it was the Kingston Mall originally, Sounds and then okay. it changed to the Independence Mall. But I don't even know if it really like is a thing anymore. Well, you would They're never. Bad now. You, you and your generation, you'd never go there and hang out and stuff. Oh like yeah, that. we would. Oh, you would. Oh yeah, it was like the best place to go. Yeah, Were you skateboarding or anything like that, or rollerblading? No, we'd go to, like the movies. Okay, and go to Spencer's and go look at the sure. dildos. Yeah. All right, yeah. there you go. Yeah. One time, me and my buddy wanted to get. We were we were we decided that we wanted to buy pocket pussies, <laughs> and we took a bus to the mall. To go buy pocket pussies Then we got there And all they had Was like a purple Like alien vagina Pocket pussy And I was like Yeah I think I'm gonna Pass on that What the fuck yeah. Wait you were gonna Buy them as a joke Or like functionality Of like Function I, wanna... we were like, we, we, I was like I wanna fuck a pocket <laughs> pussy Today Jesus Today <laughs> I didn't know They sold them in the mall No they don't They only sell the alien ones <laughs> <laughs> What out a of this crazy world. mission To bring your bro on dude yeah. Oh yeah Well it was both of us we, we decided We were like Yeah this is gonna be A good idea I get... Okay Man. Yeah all right. Um, you guys never did anything like that? No. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't go to the mall to buy sex toys. <laughs> I did see a movie every now and again when I was a youngster. Um, all right, so your mom was bad at lunches. How was she in the kitchen otherwise? Did she have a specialty dish? What, what kind of Would you guys eat dinner as a family every night, like when you were in high school? We would eat dinner as a family uh, when I was in like middle school and then high school, we kind of stopped doing that. You kind of oh. just sit on the couch and eat. The whole family would sit on the couch and eat? You kind of just eat when you ate. Gotcha. Really? And then. Uh, was she cooking? Yeah. What she, would she throw at you? Chicken every single night. Always chicken. It's my kind of household. Yeah. Though. Spaghetti Shout and meatballs the- sometimes. Okay. Pretty basic meals. She Nothing good crazy. with the spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah. Make a meatloaf? Throw a meatloaf yeah, at you? Yeah, there'll be some meatloafs here and there. All right. Chili now, every now and then. What about breakfast? What were you normally having for breakfast? Bagel. Have a bagel. Bagel with cream cheese. Were they like bought at a bakery or like- Like store like, like store bought in a bag. Store bought in a bag. In the freezer? Uh, sometimes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hmm. What were you driving to school in? In high school? Uh, GMC Acadia. I don't even know what that- It was my the... mom's car. It's like an okay. SUV. It's like a, you know, one of those Traverse type So you cars. would take her car? I think yeah. my mom had one. Really? Yeah. And she wouldn't have a car all day. Oh, no. It was her old car. She okay. Gave, yeah, she passed it down. Nice. Okay. And then it got passed down again to my sister, and then they got rid of it. Okay. Do you have a car now in the city? No. No, no, no. no. Huh. huh. Okay. Very unique. Yeah, wild. Is it? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, wasn't what I was expecting. You were a, you were a business owner at eight. <laughs> Hey, my, only it was had, one of my proudest accomplishments. You sure. only had ends of bread for some reason. <laughs> well, that was, that was obviously not every day. But that <laughs> sure. Was when it happened, it was like once every month, and it would just destroy you. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> Break really you down. Really sucked. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Are you grocery shopping now at the house? Do you, do you ever go to the grocery store? Like in New York? Yeah. Uh, I did. So when I first moved here, uh, yeah, like heavily. And I do would, you have would, roommates now? Uh, I just moved in by myself. Just got a place by yeah, yourself? like two months ago. One bedroom? Yes. What nice. neighborhood? Uh, West Village. Look at you. Very nice. All right. It's yeah. doing all right. Yeah. That's lilsass.com. Gang. <laughs> there you go. It's actually lilsasquatchwebsite.com. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> a director of... <laughs> I mean, you think you, you think you know a guy. Yeah, I don't know how that came about. I forget. There, something was... I think Lil Sasquatch comedy and Lil Sasquatch... Wait, so it's were... lilsasquatchwebsite.com? Yeah. I don't know if there's another website in the history of websites that, that has, has website website in, in the it. name. I, I I don't hate it. Squarespace websites doesn't even have websites. I know. Anymore. All right, so you move into the you get your own place. Yeah. Um, do you get new furniture and all that stuff? I got a couch. You got a couch. Yeah. Sectional? No. Just a regular. Straight on. Straight on couch. New, brand new, or you buy used? Uh, brand new. Okay. What's the bed situation? Queen, king, single? Uh, full queen. A full. Yeah, I don't know. Is it a I'd... full or a queen? I think it's a full. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Okay. And that's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what else is in your bedroom? 
Dude, you, couple of milk crates. <laughs> you want actually? I think I actually have a picture yes. of what it looks like right yes. now. Yes, no, it's, please. That's exactly what we want. It's like a sex dungeon. It's baffling. <laughs> it's a bunch <laughs> of pocket pussies. <laughs> a bunch of pur- purple dildos everywhere. It's actually, uh, it's kind it's of a like. It's gag gift. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like unsettling. This is from my point of view of the. I don't know. Of, of the. Oh my <laughs> God. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. Can you see that from there? Or we'll, you have to send we'll, it we'll to drop you guys. it in. That's it's a, literally an insane <laughs> asylum. You got the comforter, though. That's all I got right. The comforter. It's really bad. Yeah, no that'll, windows. That'll save you. Yeah, it's bad. It's uh, no behind no, there's your head, a floor to ceiling window. <laughs> there's a window and it, it's small and there's no sunlight that gets into it because it looks out into like the an alleyway. Yeah. Do you have an AC in there? No. No AC. Oh, in no that one in. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. Yeah. You'll be cooking in there all yeah, summer. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's uh, well the thing is I didn't use the bedroom for a while. Slept on the couch. I sl- I just had my mattress in like the main room, and then uh, the <laughs> in like the the big the bigger room, and then uh, I just moved the bed in I think last week. Okay. So there's nothing on the walls, and it's just a mattress on the ground. What's yeah. the rest of the apartment now that the mattress is in the proper yeah. domicile? What's in the new room? A cow or in the big room as you call uh, it? Couch, desk, TV. Okay. What's the TV on? Uh, it's on top of like the fireplace mantle. Oh, it's mounted. Or no, it it's sta- on a stand. Oh, yeah. oh, there's a man. T- okay, yeah. I gotcha. Okay, fireplace that's nice. doesn't work, I assume. No, no. Okay, how big is the TV? 50, 45. All right, All right. you yeah. got yourself a decent TV. Yeah. Got the Xbox hooked up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I play, PlayStation, I play PlayStation, but I play it on a, small, a smaller TV on my desk. Really? Yeah, you got to get close. You got to play on like a, a monitor like you that to be get, real good. You got to get yeah. close. That's how you're supposed to play. You can't play from far away or else there'll be lag. You got the headset and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. Big gamer. Play a lot of video games. What's in your refrigerator right now? Gamer juice. <laughs> yeah, G Fuel. I, uh, <laughs> G Fuel and Takis. No, I play uh, in my refrigerator. I, I, I tried out HelloFresh for a while. Okay, love HelloFresh. Yeah, but uh, I have a mini fridge. Oh my God! Yeah, so the so the the meats were going bad. So I think I'm gonna Wait, have there's to. There's no freezer. Ste- in yeah, I might have man. to steer away from the HelloFresh. You have the life an eighth grader dreams of. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. but I'm 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 cooking for myself, which is good because I, I I went through like a two year phase of just ordering everything. You got a? Is there a stove in there? Yeah. Okay. Stove top. Stove top. Yeah. Oven? No. No oven. No oven. Just a stove top. Just a stove top. Wait, how's that possible? What's underneath the stovetop? Uh, mini fridge. This is at Rikers, you said, right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, how do is you this, have that? It's just uh, it's an electric stovetop. <laughs> Jesus. So dude. it's like just the, there's two stovetop cookers. It's a hot plate. You have a hot plate. Yeah, pretty much. And then, <laughs> and then below it is the mini fridge. There's like a, there's like a platform. A gap. And then, it's yeah. not. Oh, man. Yeah. That's why. Okay. <laughs> you also have to give him a curve. He's 22 of living in New York. I was getting, he's doing pretty goddamn good, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I was on a couch at yeah. 31. <laughs> of course. Of course. We're okay. Grading on a curve. Here. I just keep forgetting. He's, I'm like, he's 22. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a place in the West Village. He's Richie Rich at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and no roommates. That's uh, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. You yeah. didn't buy this place, did you? you no, just rent? no, no, rented. Yeah. I lived in West Village before, too, for a year. And I, I had two roommates there, but that apartment was really small. Okay. Really small. Like, it, all I had was a bed. Okay. And that was, uh, I would play PlayStation again, and I would have to sit. It was at the end, it was at the foot of my bed on the window. But I would have to sit crisscross applesauce closer to the. Because <laughs> uh, I said crisscross applesauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, dude, that's just a force of habit. I say that all the time. Uh-huh. It feels weird not throwing in the applesauce at the end. As you say, crisscross. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice little dessert. Yeah. Applesauce. applesauce. Yeah. yeah. Of course. And then, I'm with yeah. It. So that's how. Just for generational purposes, what was your favorite cartoon growing up when you were a kid? Ooh. Uh, well, I, I actually, re- growing up, I really liked uh, Tom and Jerry for a while. Of course. I would watch Classic. that a School. lot. And then. Uh, I got into South Park. SpongeBob was great. Okay. Um, so that was kind of your, you were a SpongeBob kid. SpongeBob mostly, yeah. All okay. right. Is that what was popular at the time? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that was popular. I mean, that was huge. It's yeah, got to yeah. be one of the biggest I just shows didn't know, ever. ever. Yeah. I just didn't know if he caught it when and was at its actual popularity or, you know, he's a little, he's, he's an offbeat kid. No, it was definitely as bad as popularity. When okay. I was a kid. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, how many suits do you own now? None. Do you know how to tie a tie? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How'd you learn that? Uh, just 
I think I I do it like the the easy way. Okay. I can't do like the perfect triangle. Right. Just sure. get it close I, enough. I do like you go down, around, up, through and, down. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I know how to do. Yeah. I think it's called the Pratt knot. Now, if you had to go to a wedding next week, yeah, what are you wearing? I would have to rent or buy a suit. You go to H and M, grab something, yeah. look sharp. Yeah. Okay. Any of your friends getting married or anything like that? Or are you still too young for that? Uh, yeah, no, no one. No one's my, Maybe married. my cousin. I think my cousin's going to get married soon. So have you gone to a wedding as an adult like no, on your own? never been to a wedding. You've never been to a wedding? No. This guy owned a business as eight, but he's never <laughs> been to a fucking wedding. <laughs> You've never, there's a little kid, you were never no. like the, uh, I don't know, something? No, never. No kidding. Yeah. Were you nope. ever a pallbearer? No. Have you ever been to a funeral? No. Really? Yeah, never been to a funeral, never been to a wedding. Have you ever been in a limo? No, no. Have you ever been in a car? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Man, you never been to a never wedding or a funeral. No. You got your whole life in front of you. I know. That's crazy, I man. Know. It's fucking awesome. Holy shit. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think it is abnormal, though, that I've never been to a wedding or a funeral. Yeah, a little bit. Because you figure, yeah. as a, are both your grandparents still alive? All my grandparents are still alive. Everybody's they're still- 66. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're old. They're old. They're in their, like, their 80s and 90s. Okay. <laughs> no shit. All right. Oh, man. Um, this is a, such a different aspect of the game crazy. we've never played. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, what do you like to drink? Not booze-wise, but like, you know, Kevin likes Diet Coke. What do you drink? Diet Coke. You're a Diet He's Coke a DC, kid. man. Yeah, DC, uh, LaCroix. Okay. Any, any sparkling water, seltzer. But then I got really into Diet Cokes. It's, it, the, the, the sparkling seltzer is a gateway to Diet Coke. Do you have that stuff in the mini fridge now? Is oh, there any, yeah. Is there any, so it's, you got Diet Cokes and LaCroix in there. Diet Cokes, Diet Dr. Peppers. Really? LaCroix. Well, that's the whole fridge. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. It is. But you got to prioritize. The drinks are the most important part. You're throwing uh, yeah. out the pork loin from the whole fridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. your Diet Cokes in there. Yeah. Uh, do you drink huh. prime energy drink? I do not, no. Okay. <laughs> That's that's way younger than me. Is it? That's yeah, like that's, dude, like, that's like children. That. Dude, yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Is it really? Oh, it's really good. It is. It's like one gram of sugar. <laughs> really? Like so yeah. Yeah, that's blowing right. up right now. Yeah, it's oh, huge. Yeah. yeah. At Logan Paul. Yeah. That was all right. Tall drink of prime here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um if hmm. we came to your house right now, we were over at the house and we said, Hey, can we get a glass of water? What glass of water, what would you give us? A glass of water. Diet Coke. Well, but it would be in a it would be in a red solo cup. It would be in a red solo cup from the faucet. Yes. There's no I, Brita. I respect no Brita. that, though. As, as a 22-year-old, you, sure. you don't get the Brita. It's from the faucet. You can't be. You, you're, you're not, you know you're not going to stay on top of washing glasses. I yeah. assume you don't have a dishwasher. No, no. Yeah, so it's like the red solo cup is the best yeah. way to do it, to stay on top. I have of it. mugs for coffee, but that's it. What kind you of make coffee? coffee in the house? Yeah. You got a French press? Or I got a Keurig. You got a Keurig. I got one of those one cup Keurigs. Sure. Actually, it's super convenient. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Where are you getting the carrot cups from? Are you going to the- I are steal you- them from Barstool. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I mean, dude, there's a thousand of them. I just take, I put them in my backpack and I have them for a month. It's fucking great. It's all over the place, <laughs> yeah, dude. It's squirrely. So you do, so you will go to the grocery store. Yeah. I, I haven't been in a while, but what I'll What are you go. going to? Uh, there's a grocery store near my apartment. I think it's called Brooklyn Fair. It's Way pretty, too expensive. Pretty classic. I mean, your West Village, expensive. everything. Yeah. yeah. Jammed up. I, I used to go, when I was really going to the grocery store, I would go to Trader Joe's. Gentlemen. Yeah. All right. Who's, what are you doing the laundry? Uh, just a wash and fold. Just go to a wash and fold, drop it off, pick it up. Yeah. If you go home, say you go home, I don't know, 4th of July weekend, yeah. you go to your parents, can you bring laundry and your mom will knock it out for you? I do it myself, but I, I... I, when I go home, I bring every pair of underwear that I have. So you can wash it there? Yeah. Were you doing your laundry when you were living there? Or did uh, your mom do it? Yeah, for the most part. Really? Yeah. Man, I am a loser. <laughs> <laughs> His mom still does it. <laughs> really? <He's> 50. <laughs> really? Your kid's over here doing his own goddamn laundry. He's like a business owner. All right. uh, do you currently have all matching socks? God, no. Your, mat- your socks don't match right now? Oh, right. What I'm right, wearing right yeah. now? Yeah, they're matching. Okay. Ankle socks? No. You go high boys. High boys. Really? Black or white? White. Whoa, Is that what the kids are doing now? I think, yeah, I think, I think so. White's nice. back. Yeah. White's okay. back. Okay. Because I mean, back when I was banging, you got caught with white socks. Those things came with a wedgie. Really? <laughs> oh, you couldn't do it. Yeah. I feel like black socks, like, I, and, and I'm talking, I'm thinking like more like shorts. Like, I'll wear black socks if I'm wearing pants, but if I wear shorts, I, I can't wear black socks. Wear white socks. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it's opposite to me. Really? You can't. I mean, it's just the time we grew up in. Yeah. White socks were the. It was when black socks dropped. It was like if you had white, you were. Yeah. It was like your dad. What's the undie situation? Boxer briefs. What are you rocking? Boxers. Straight boxers. Straight boxers. Straight boxers. Straight boxers. Yeah. That's I, just, all I, I wear. can't get a read on this fucking guy. I can't wear boxer briefs. I actually, f- I fucking hate wearing boxer briefs. <laughs> I I was at work recently and I had boxer briefs on and I left and I went to Old Navy and bought boxers and changed in the office and threw away the boxer briefs. I think they're so uncomfortable. But you were in boxers your whole life? Yeah. It seems misgenerational, doesn't it? I'm a boxers man. I, you're 36. I'm 33. Whatever. <laughs> Don't embarrass me in front of the cool team. <laughs> this guy's a cop, dude. <laughs> huh. Hmm. What was the nice what's the nicest restaurant you've been to in the last 365 the last year? I went to Le Bernard N. Uh, for the yak for for the show we okay did. outside of someone outside of a rich guy paying for your meal N- none none i went to four charles prime rib okay, okay. with but francis took me oh another okay. rich guy yeah. paying for yeah. the yeah. meal. so none N- none <laughs> okay yeah i don't is really he, go out is he yelling at you much. what fork to use and stuff oh, like 100%. that 100 <laughs> percent. Hun- like he holds the menu in front of you and like reads it to you like telling you what you need so to that's get that's my wife that it's the most degrading <laughs> yeah. thing in the world oh f- <laughs> sucks Jeff francis Kent, let's talk about Adam and Eve. Boner alert. Talk Ooh. about getting weird in the privacy of your own home with somebody, or if you're flying solo, there's no better way to spice things up than a little Adam and Eve. You know what I mean? Buddy, singles, couples, groups, whatever you're into. Anything. Adam and Eve, if you want to go to the, the Shea Stadium and get after They're whatever talking you about aliens. They're talking about climate change. They're talking about all this stuff that's kind it's, it's, it, 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 Get weird, man. Stick something up your butt. Get a sex swing. Who cares? Yeah, man. Have fun. Uh, right now you can get. We're on borrowed time here. <laughs> right now you can get fifty percent. Cram it in there. Oh, stop it. Right now, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right now you can get fifty percent off just about any item, plus free shipping and rush processing in case you're hard and you don't want to yeah, lose that. Boner. No kidding, dude. So you, you got can, a buzz going. You can get it on as soon as possible. If you're still living in your mom's basement, like a lot of people I know, sure. don't worry. Adam and Eve has discreet packaging. Mm-hmm. Uh, she'll never have to know you're stocking up on a harness set. Yikes. Well, she might come down to, when she comes down to vacuum, she might catch you. Turn the TV up real loud. Don't wait. Better sex is just a click away. That's 50% off one item, free shipping with free rush processing. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. Enter code garbage at the checkout. This is an exclusive offer just for AYG listeners, baby, just for the Army Garbage. Be sure to use code garbage and get your discount. 100% free shipping and rush processing. That's adamandeve.com, promo code garbage, adamandeve.com, code garbage. Do it. Now back to that guy's darn show, gang. Back to the show. Uh, will you and your boys go out to eat together? Chipotle or something, probably, right? Yeah. But, like, say you're going out in, the, like, the city on a Friday night. Will you guys all go out to dinner and then go go to a club or something like that? Do you do that, or are you just mostly no, doing comedy No, I just comedy do the stand. Go to yeah. the stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in comedy world where <laughs> yeah. it's like, you know. Um, okay. Hmm. If I, right. if I hang out with my buddies from home, one of my friends is, like, a chef cook, so he, he likes to go to, like, good food places and how will you guys break that check up we'll split it you'll split it will you split it in the moment like here's four credit cards or somebody will put down a card and everybody will get a venmo request usually that use the venmo request yeah, and i pay for a lot of stuff now sure because none of them have jobs gotcha so they don't yeah now will you still venmo request them or don't worry about it i got it. i'll just i'll just take it fucking good kid right kid. there old Jen, he's an old soul he isn't man. <laughs> will you he's send right. a venmo request to somebody if they owe Hell you money no, no unless it was like a thousand dollars no really i mean it, it depends on what it's for like for for drinks or for food if, if, if it's like the next morning i'm not gonna no fucking good man that's a good that's a that's a that's a good man do you like uh any any of the finer things in life like do you like a nice hotel Oh, yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. I, what I did, Francis made me do this, too. I, I, I bought a Delta One You're ticket. his protege. Oh, yeah. He <laughs> he hates the way I live so much. <laughs> probably to not him. even being funny. Like, yeah. he probably genuinely oh. Oh, hates yeah. it. Has he, he seen that bedroom? No. God, oh, he no. would lose it. I would it. never let him come to my apartment. <laughs> he, would lo- he would have an aneurysm. He would lose his mind. There's no Boston Terrier in here. <laughs> yeah. What the hell's going yeah. on? Yeah. Where's your centerpiece? Where do you keep your skis at? <laughs> Shout out to Francis. I love yeah, that. Francis is awesome. Yeah. But, uh, Holy shit. Okay. Francis made me, or he convinced me to fly uh, Delta One. With him, it's great, right? We, okay. were, we were co-headlining Cobbs in San Francisco. Nice. Game Long changer. flight. Yeah. Long flight. Did it. Awesome. Can you go back now? 
ah, uh, yeah, I, I don't have it. I, I can't, I can't justify spending that much money, a thousand dollars on a plane ticket. Sure. And you're comfy and coach, right? You're I a mean, it's, guy. It, my legs slam up against the seat in front of sure. me, but it's doable. Mm -hmm. Will you put your seat back when you're in coach when when, when you're on a plane? Yeah, I try, okay. but sometimes they really just don't go back that far. Uh -huh. It really doesn't do much. Okay. Huh. I, I recently got a neck pillow, which has kind of been game changer. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Cash yeah. out the 401k. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Take your shoes off on a plane? Yeah. Yeah? yeah Will you sometimes. bring food on the plane? Every time. Not like what? What kind of food are you talking? Like a you meal? tell me a meal or snacks? What do, you, what do you take on? Don't go. I can't get on a plane without snacks. Okay, I bring Run, on a give me a rundown. Snacks. Give me a rundown of the snacks. Did yeah. you hold on? And did you do that when you were on Delta One? Did the French say, "Hey, you don't got to do that. They're going to give you snacks when you get on there." I didn't do that because we almost because I we both almost missed the flight. It was <laughs> okay. at JFK. Are you TSA pre-check? No, clear. You're not clear. You're clear. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Um, snacks, Pringles, Diet Coke, water. You got to have Diet Coke and a water. Yeah. And then they serve different purposes. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, usually a candy, Jolly Ranchers. Okay, you're a Jolly Ranchers man. I like love. a bag of Jolly Ranchers. Oh, yeah. And you'll just crush them. Just crush the them. Hard the hard ones are like the taffy ones. ones. Really? The taffy ones are fucking good, though. Man, you are old school. Jolly Ranchers. Well, uh, my crazy. ears, That's my like ears. That's like a field trip. You're still Wait, like what do you mean your ears? It helps with my ears. My ears pop a ton on planes. Are you So when you have a Jolly Rancher, are you are you crushing it and chewing it, or are you, are you sucking on it? Planes usually suck on them. Every other scenario, I'm chomping them. Really? Yeah. Good man. Yeah. Yeah, I love eating hard candy like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say your favorite candy bar is? Uh, Heath Bar, Score Bar. <laughs> Who the score fuck is this guy? <laughs> Dude, are you a British spy? <laughs> Did you say score bar? Yeah, yeah dude. What is that? My, it was my dad's favorite candy They're bar. Good. My, it's my mom's favorite. That's why I like Yeah, them. it's like a Heath bar. It's toffee oh, on the inside. Oh, those things? But they're real classy. They're good. It's Hershey's version of the Heath bar. It's They're a good. very classy candy. Man. There's a crown in the O. Yeah. S-K-O-R. It's yeah. a gentleman's candy. Oh, I didn't. Bar. I would. I still don't have the confidence to buy that. <laughs> <laughs> They're good, huh? Wild. Are you peeing in the shower? Yeah. Okay. I actually don't even know how people could not. How do you not pee in to, the shower? To fight sure. that urge yeah. has to be crazy. Imagine getting out of the shower to pee. Well, you brush your teeth in there. No, no. What's the what? What's your bathroom looking like now? And who's cleaning the apartment? Me, you do. Yeah, so but you as have much a, as I can. You have a vacuum and all that stuff. No, 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 no none of that. I, I meant like picking up trash. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have a vacuum cleaner. No, I cleaned my bathroom minimally last night. I just wet a paper towel and <laughs> rinsed everything off. Do you have any type of cleaning products? A little four hundred nine or Fabuloso? Windex? No, nah, I got I got like dial soap. I told you about the paper towel in the water. Yeah. Huh? What kind of bot? What are you doing? Body wash bar? I got a bar. And I got body wash and I got shampoo. Are you going straight bar to skin or do you have a loofah or anything like that? Just bar to skin. Bar yeah. to skin. Yeah, hey, I'm living by myself. I don't need a sure. fucking I don't need the loofah. Jailhouse rules. <laughs> <laughs> what uh what kind of shampoo are you banging with? Uh anything. And how often are you washing your hair? Every day. You wash it every day. Yeah, I'd recommend not doing that. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, what are you like a big? Because I know like you, if you break through like the thirty days or something, it, it starts cleaning itself or yeah, some yeah. shit. I may I maybe once a month. Maybe. Is that like a Rogan thing? That's like got to be like a Roganism. Do why, you, no. why you're in a cold point. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'd love that. Ooh, shout out to it. Um, okay. All right. How do you feel about coleslaw, Sass? Hate it. Really? I hate coleslaw. What was your mayonnaise growing up in your in your parents' house? Was it Hellman's? Was it Miracle Whip? And Hellman's. Did, did you fuck with it? Oh, I love mayonnaise. You like mayonnaise? Yeah, I love but mayonnaise. You don't like coleslaw? No, I hate coleslaw. Interesting. You got hot sauce at the house? Oh, yeah. What are we talking? Everything. Really? Love hot sauce. You go hot? Yeah. Really? I, I I like to think I do, but then sometimes I, I, I get tested and I'm like, oh, maybe I'm not as much of a hot sauce guy as I thought I was. What's like the hottest, what's it called? The Scoville? Yeah. I've had, uh, I, I, I just, so I, I went to Iceland recently and I just- That's I, pretty cool. Yeah. And I got all these, uh, I was at like a bakery and they had a, like a four pack of these like hot sauces that they made in there. They're like, they're made with geothermal heat, something weird like that. Jesus. Okay. And- uh, I just tried them out the other day. They're pretty good. But it, that's that's like a jalapeno, habanero, then just like regular like yeah, tasty yeah, yeah. ones. What were you doing in Iceland? Uh, I went with two of my buddies. 
Just for vacation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're doing that kind of stuff now. You you you're getting out yeah. and going around. That was the first time I've ever we've ever really done that, like gone somewhere altogether. But and how was, long ago was this? This was like a month, two months ago. What's the attraction of Iceland in April? None. It was a big mistake. We uh Really? <laughs> it's dark out all day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was uh I wanted to go to Switzerland. Sick. Really bad. I've done it. You yeah. did. Sick. I've always wanted to go. I was scrolling Instagram and I saw a Switzerland thing and I was like, dude, I might go on a vacation. I was like, I've never really gone on a vacation, like like set up my own plans to go on a vacation. So mm -hmm. I was like, I'm gonna go to Switzerland. One of my buddies, his mom's a flight attendant, so he flies for free. Okay. So he was like, let's go to Switzerland. You really won't be that expensive. Like you just have to pay for like food and shit. And uh, wait, could she get you, you to fly for free too? No, him. But okay. I was like, he, he could he just could, go. You yeah. can afford the ticket. Your buddy can. Yeah, just get it's a also it's, dude. It's cheap as fuck to fly to Switzerland. Iceland. Okay, but not well, Switzerland. Well, Iceland. It's like three hundred bucks. Because it's the closest. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, everybody wants to go to Switzerland. Yeah. And then he <laughs> called me. Crazy expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So is Iceland. Is it? I think it's actually the most expensive country in Europe. Really? Yeah. Iceland's and in Europe? So how'd you land on Iceland? Yeah, isn't it? I don't know. I never thought of that. I, I think theoretically, I don't sound like yeah. a dumbass now. No, no, that's me. I never put together what continent it would be included on. Yeah, I think theoretically it would be in Europe. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he called me and he was like, what about we, what if we go to Iceland instead? He's like, it's going to be way cheaper. It's really cool. And I was like, yeah, I'll go to Iceland. And then uh, we, went, we were supposed to go fishing. The whole plan was to go fishing. Okay. Bought a fly fishing rod and everything. Okay. Have you ever fly fish before? I have, like okay. once or twice. So and, you know how to do the uh, movements Francis and told stuff you. like that. Yeah, no, actually my buddy taught me, but yeah, I, 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 I kind of, it's pretty, it's not that hard. I gotcha. And uh, we did not catch a single fish, nor did we even see a fish the entire time. It was way too early in the season. Dude, we were like waiting, like we had like the whole like the jumpsuits on and stuff sure. when we were in the water. And uh yeah, two hours in, we we like bought like uh, permits to go to this private. What twenty two year old kid <laughs> goes to Iceland in April to go fly? It fishing. was was that something you do when you retire? It was like the first week of May, and dude, you're just staring in the water. I'm like, not only are there no fish in here, I don't think anything is even alive in this water. And there's no chicks. What's yeah, the deal, dude? It was it was devastating. <laughs> Devastating, but it was still fun as fuck. I mean, we, sure. had a, we had a blast. We just got hammered the whole time. Did you eat, eat anything crazy, like whale blubber or anything like that? Ah, uh, no, Salt we had some shark fish. No, I didn't have anything. I, I had like some good, like just regular fish. You're a seafood guy. Yeah, I like seafood. Shrimp cocktail. Oh, I love shrimp cocktail. Oysters on a half shell. Yeah, I didn't like oysters until recently, actually. That's understandable. Yeah. Huh? Okay. But shrimp, I love shrimp. All right. Huh. Uh, how are you getting your steak cooked? Uh, medium rare. Gentlemen. Yeah. Not bad. You know how to use chopsticks? Nah, like I could, I could figure out a way to, to use to them, work, but, but not, I definitely not by the how book. to use them now. Okay. Any cologne? You using any cologne? No. Never. What's the deodorant situation? Old Spice. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a couple of different ones or just one? Just one. Just one. Fiji. Okay. Fiji. Yeah. Right. Okay. Classy. <laughs> Tropical. <laughs> Tropical. When was the last time you went clothes shopping, and where was it? Oh man. Uh. I feel like you buy a lot of your clothes off Amazon, I feel. No, I, uh, all my pants are Old Navy. Everything is Old Navy. I, I actually really have to go clothes shopping and get shirts for the summer. Okay. Because I, I, I just threw out a shit ton of stuff and uh, when I moved. Because I just get a bunch of shit from Barstool. And I'm like, I'm never going to wear this. And I have like mountains of it. And mm -hmm. I just threw it all away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, Uniqlo. Uniqlo's good. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I know Uniqlo. Old Navy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. Fly fishing. That's a, yeah, that's why that's the first time I've heard that one. What do you normally eat for breakfast? Uh a protein bar and a Red Bull. <laughs> Every single day. Gotta start the engine somehow. <laughs> yeah. What's your protein uh, bar of choice? Quest. Okay. Yeah. You like a quest bar? New guy Luke likes the quest bars. Yeah, quest bars are good. You ever uh, had a quail egg? No. Okay. Hmm. Will you stack plates at a restaurant? Like when you're done eating, will you stack them up for the server? No, no. I, like if 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 everyone else is doing it, then yeah. But it's never. <laughs> I've never had the thought to do that. Because <laughs> I I honestly don't think it helps them that much. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I yeah. I think it's not the right thing to do. But that's just me. Will you sleep with your socks on? No, no. God, what are you no. sleeping in? Just your undies? Underwear and shirt. Okay. Yeah. Underwear and a tee. Hmm. Now, I bet you flossing every day. No. Go to the dentist regularly? No. Hmm. Haven't been since high school. 
really, really need to. No flossing. Uh, like occasionally, I, I got to get better at all that. What's shit. the toothpaste situation? What are you using? Crest. Crest. Yeah. Okay. Gentlemen. <laughs> Electric toothbrush or regular toothbrush? Regular. Okay. Were you ever really into Harry Potter? No, I, I like the movies. <laughs> okay. The movies were good. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's just funny. Because <laughs> you theoretically crest, you should have. Yeah, yeah, and I wouldn't make fun of them because I'm like, that's you were fucking nine. Yeah, when you should have. You should have yeah. crushed through all those books. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was never a big reader growing up. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, Any baking soda in your refrigerator? No. There's no room for it. Sure. Use a George Foreman grill? Have I used one before? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Okay. Hmm. Have you ever washed your shoes in the washing machine? No. Dishwasher? No. Okay. Do you keep the box of things? Like if you get a new pair of sneakers, will you keep the box for a little while? Um, I probably have done that. Do you still have the box to your PlayStation? No, no, no. TV? No, I just threw that out. Yeah. And what PlayStation is it? What version? Four. Four. Yeah. Do you want to get a five? Yeah, when it comes time to get one. Right now, there's not enough, like, it's not necessary yet. Okay. You can still play all the games. You stay pretty current on all that stuff. I mean, I've had a PlayStation 4 for fucking ever. I think I got that when I was in ninth grade, like, right when it came out. Really? Yeah, it's been around for a while. And you, that's still, uh, you get the best games and stuff on there? Yeah, still can play everything. It's huh. starting, it, it, the fans been working overtime recently, so I think it's <laughs> like, like the, the, yeah. <laughs> Cause the game, I think the games are too big for the for the console now. You vape in the apartment, I assume. Yeah. I'm gonna, I gotta quit it. Smoke weed in there? No, I don't smoke weed. You don't smoke weed? No, I went through like a weed phase, but I never- That's it. Never caught on. Edibles? No, I took edibles once, and I, I was by myself in my apartment in Hell's Kitchen. I used to live in Hell's Kitchen, uh-huh. and uh, I took like one gummy, and I forgot I took it, and then I like rolled over to go to bed, and, I, and the, the whole room moved it like in slow motion, and then I was like, holy fuck, got I am so high. Mm-hmm. And I had to. Uh, it was a battle, just a battle the whole night. Gotcha. Mm. And when you booze, what do you, what are you having? I think you were you were drinking bud, buds the other night. Yeah, bud any, heavy. Any light, any light beer. Okay. Yeah, or or heavy. I like Guinness. Guinness is good. Okay. Mm. All right. Do you have a working printer at the house? No, no. Do you own binoculars? No. Mm. Okay. Coming up, were you ever subscribed to Jake Paul's YouTube channel? No. That that's so much younger than me. That's that's yeah, years that's younger like, than that's me. That's like kids are like. 12 now yeah yeah except is jake paul i think people hate jake paul now or still right i think uh-huh. logan paul kind of recovered after the whole i think they're both thing. doing very well yeah they're both very oh, they're very big yeah. yeah i don't know plus they tune you up i'll give you the two-piece yeah yeah huh have you ever worn a kiss me i'm iris t-shirt no no okay can you play any instruments uh yeah, I I, I could play the piano and play the clarinet. Okay. Yeah. You uh, could play it today. You could play the clarinet. I could play like a scale. I, I don't know if I could read music that well on the clarinet anymore. Well, can you you can actually read music though. Yeah, I I, I can read like a, a scale, and then I would probably have to like count it out, and I, I could read pretty well on the piano. That's pretty impressive. If I but it would take me like a minute to sure, yeah, figure yeah. shit out. Have you ever seen Star Wars? Yeah. Seen that Return of the Jedi Empire? Yeah, Strikes I've back, seen all, all the old school ones. Yeah. Okay. You have name brand luggage? No. Oh, I have a Nike duffel bag. <sighs> what you talking about getting out of town? <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. With every right. piece of underwear you own. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God damn. Okay. Man, but he's 22. He can't. I know, I know. I know. I <laughs> know. Do you own a hair dryer? No. Hmm. Huh. Will you eat in the car? Yeah. Will you eat in the back of an Uber? No. Depends on how long the Uber is. Really? And if you're yeah. drunk, I assume. If I'm drunk. If I'm, I'm drunk, 100%. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. pizza, you'll have a slice of pizza? Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay. Sometimes, like, on the way to the airport, I'll have, like, an egg sandwich. Oh, like, that's fine. Yeah. It's all right. You're jammed up. Yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. When was the last time you slept in your jeans? Oh, recently. <laughs> I assumed. <laughs> uh, fuck. I got hammered recently and i fell asleep like on the couch uh-huh. with uh, all my clothes on woke up with my shoes on <laughs> oh dude <that's- laughs> yeah that ain't good i don't honestly might have been the last time i hung out with you guys yeah sure that was last <laughs> yeah. week yeah yeah, yeah 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 i think i did the same thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> any hmm. colored contacts in your past no no ever gone ghost hunting no ever been bitten by a dog whoo 
No. Not like aggressively, no. Okay. Yeah. Has anybody, you or anybody in your family ever claimed to have seen a UFO? Oh, I bet my grandma has. Okay. Has to have. She she loves all that shit. Okay. She, dude, she's like stores like pills in case of the apocalypse. She really? stores pills. In she's case- got like a bunker. Okay. I don't know if she still does because they moved to like an old people home. But she had, dude, she was like, she had like a bottle of Oxycontin that was like, no, I'm not taking it. I'm saving it for the apocalypse. Jesus. Go out with a bang. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to grandma. Yeah. I don't really know what the thought process was. I guess she was like, if I get hurt. Mm-hmm. If I get caught with pills, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> hey, just get ready. <laughs> my, grandpa, my grandpa used to smoke and he had a, he would keep a lighter and a cigarette in a cigarette box in his glove compartment after he quit in case the end of the world happened so he could smoke one more cigarette. That would probably that probably they, made it easy for him to quit of like I have one right yeah, there in case yeah. that's the one I'm going to have. They sound like real relaxed people. Yeah, I'll geez, tell you that. Try a cup yeah. of decaf, will yeah. you? <laughs> um, have you ever tried to start the wave at a sporting event? No. Okay. no I'm not, that's, that's not me. Crash a, go- <laughs> crash a golf cart? Yeah. Big time. You have? Yeah. Spun out and everything. Get in Went trouble down for the it? Hill. No. Dipped? No. Uh, it was like we, we were going down a hill, and it just started like out of nowhere, just uncontrollably spinning down a steep hill and tipped. Okay. Jesus. Yeah. You didn't get in trouble for it? No. There's nothing we could really do about it. Sure. Mm. I don't think anyone even saw. What was your first concert? I haven't been to a lot of concerts. Uh... I went to a lot of. There was this festival in Marshfield, the town next to mine, and it was uh, it was called Levitate Music Festival, and it, it started out pretty small. It was like a very like like uh, indie rock, uh, reggae music, okay. and uh, so I've seen all of like the like Ziggy Marley and all those guys a bunch. Oh, well, I've right. seen like uh, I don't know if you guys know Stick Figure, no, mm-hmm. probably not. T Bone, um, <laughs> Tadashi Trucks. <laughs> Uh, you could stop there. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I know, sli- I do not, I've seen slightly of, stupid. I've heard a bunch. Of slightly stupid. Uh, just to go back to dinner. Say you and your boys do go out to eat. Will you guys get a couple appetizers and share it, or is everything compartmentalized per person? You compartment compart. Yeah, we don't really share much. Really? Yeah, kind of just get what you want. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Appetizers, honestly, a new thing to me. I was never a big appetizers guy. You just go right to the meal. I like bread. Okay. With bread and oil. Okay. Uh, hey, yeah. I'm, t- I'm right there with you, yeah. big guy. You preach it to the choir. Uh, <laughs> huh. I only I get. I mean, Man. talk about not being able to get a read on. I know guys. he's a young guy. He's doing well. <sighs> huh. Doesn't own a vacuum cleaner though. I, he's no, I'll buy one. I'll I didn't have one, one at 22. I'll but get I also one. didn't have my own apartment at 22. When'd you get your mattress off the floor? Uh. I mean, when I moved to New York, I was on the floor. I didn't even have a mattress. Yeah, I slept on an air mattress on the kitchen floor at somebody's apartment. So then, like, I got... He's killing us. (laughs) We're not saying that. I mean, I'm not throwing shade at the guy. (laughs) I'm trying to understand. Probably buy and sell us now. What are you talking about? I think uh, when we were in that house on Titan Street in South Philly... I had a futon, but I was in front of the, the laundry... You were in a futon in the basement, and I had a box spring, like a, you know, right? That's what they're called? Mm-hmm. Like the wooden yeah. frame? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was on the ground, and I had a mattress on that. So I was a little elevated. It wasn't just mattress. That was probably. What is it, though? Uh, like, so I ha- I'm not, it's not like I've never had a mattress, uh, a bed frame. Of course. Like, I, I had one in my old apartment. I just didn't feel like moving it. Sure. So I just left it there. So it's just a mattress. It's just a mattress. And you have a down comforter, I assume. Yeah. How many pillows? Two. Two pillows. Yeah. You sleep with them both under your head or you're hugging one? Uh, dude, I, I actually, I sometimes I don't even use the pillows. I don't, I don't hate just head on the mattress. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, I'll put them You out. might be, yeah. you might live in Rikers. You're on work release, dude. You go back to a jail cell. I, I like to put my arm here and, and rest my head on my arm. I don't hate Like that. a hobo. Yeah, it's, but it's comfortable. <laughs> and then, I'll, and then I'll wake up and I'll put the pillow, I'll use the pillow. Huh. You ever break anything as a kid? You break your arms or broke my arm in fifth your, grade. Fifth grade. Yeah, bad. Or, or the how'd you do it? Uh tripped over a lunchbox. <laughs> I had a lunchbox I with, you were long, saying, like, with a long strap. It? And I was running to my next class and I tripped. Wait, you had a lunchbox with a long strap? Yeah. Wait, what? 
That's yeah. a purse. What yeah, are you I talking don't know about? why. But it was a it was a lunchbox. It was like a the cooler lunchbox type sure. thing. Sure. And I fucking took a took a dive. You freak mm. out? Rolled I rolled around squirming in pain, and then the nurse came and brought me. But I didn't. I never cried. Okay. Yeah. It was more just like. It's like, it's like Dickie Ward. I never. <laughs> yeah. I never. You never got. You never got me down. <laughs> yeah. Probably I was those. honestly kind of pumped to have a cast. Oh, sure. at that age, it's yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I was People like, this is awesome. your cast? Oh yeah. Were you a popular kid in high school? Uh, no. No? I, I wouldn't say so. I was very, very quiet. Girlfriend in high school? Uh, no. And have you had a serious girlfriend thus far? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you go to prom? Yeah. With, with a like, girl? With, like, friends. A group, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. How'd you get to that prom? Did you take a limo? Did you drive? Drove. You drove. We would drive to school, and I, I would just drive in a normal car, and then- uh, So you drove the Arcadia? Yeah, pretty much. I, yeah, actually, I think I did. Okay. I think I drove me and like ten people because it's a it seats eight people. It's a big car, it's a big ride. Yeah. And uh, did you did you soap the windows like prom? No, 20, no, none uh, of that. What year did you go? You see, you went to prom in what 2017? 2017. What year did you graduate high school? Twenty nineteen. Whoa, it's crazy. Yeah. It is cra- It is weird. I think 2019. When you look at it like that, I mean, you're fucking killing it. Yeah, of course. You've got you a place in the West Village. Yeah. At th- dude, at 42, <laughs> he was living under our buddy's kitchen table <laughs> <laughs> with a trash bag full of belongings. And I didn't have no PlayStation 4, I'll tell you that, <laughs> young man. Uh, you guys are fucking killing it. <laughs> This place is fucking insane, oh, dude. Thank you. This thank is the you. nicest. Like, I, I went to Columns one, and I was like, this is nuts. Mm-hmm. I mean, dude, Barstool's got to take a fucking look at this place. <laughs> this is wild. Yeah, we, <laughs> we took all the money we've ever made and put it in here. <laughs> Do you guys rent out those other ones? No, no, that's other studios and offices. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you like the smell of asphalt, gasoline, horses, or magic marker? Uh, a- uh, asphalt and gasoline. Yeah, okay. the other ones I've never really picked up on. Okay, have you ever ridden a horse? <clears throat> yeah, for uh, I went to I get to school. <laughs> yeah. uh, the was broken. I was man. visiting one of my buddies who worked on a ranch in Wyoming, and uh, he was a cook there. And how long goes this? This was. It makes it seem like he's a hundred years old. I, I know it's. Crazy. I was out like, on a ranch in Wyoming. <laughs> this is like my two buddy years was ago. cooking stew. You said your you said your one buddy was like a <laughs> chef, who a twenty two year old chef. Yeah, dude, everyone's shit got like thrown off because we all got sent home from college, and everyone's like, I don't want to do online classes and live at home for the next year. So like, he sure. went to he moved to Denver and got a job out there, and and. Lived on fucking unemployment for a year, man. And then he went to this ranch in the summer and got a uh, got a job there. And it was pretty cool. I went. I went out, and uh, it's like a it's like a ranch for rich people. Like he lived, he worked there. Gotcha. So okay. it's like a touristy ranch. But I got to go and just live in his Dang, room. Yeah. Sure. And uh, they had like a horse riding fucking thing, and I went on it. A little mm. tour. Do you think if if the pandemic never happens, you stay in school and? Yeah. Definitely. And did you apply to Barstool? No, they reached out to me. What were you doing in school that got their attention? Uh, I was like, I was on Twitter. You were a forever. Twitter guy, yeah, right? Yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and you I were was doing like good making, on it. Yeah, I was making videos and stuff. Okay. Just dumb little sketches. Damn. Yeah. Interesting guy. Very. 22. Yeah. He's about living a life. He's been to Iceland and a ranch in Wyoming. Yeah. I got, I mean, I, I you know. Is he trash? No, I mean, I think he. What uh, Toby? What Toby's eyes are popping out of his head? Yeah, man. Why? Why? He sleeps on the floor. Bad meat in the mini fridge. Twenty two. <laughs> Twenty two. He's West got a Village place apartment. in the West Village. What are you talking about? That's a better neighborhood than all of but us. We've never graded on an age curve before. Well, we've never had someone this young. It's true. He can't rent a car. I, yeah. I can't. That's actually a big issue. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and me and Francis just did a. <laughs> Got to take your mom on the road with you. That's it's actually a massive problem. Francis is bitching about the sandwiches, dude. It's a huge issue. I had to pick Francis up at an air at uh what is the airport in DC? Dulles, Dulles. I don't know. Dulles, yeah. Dulles. Yeah, I had to pick him up there, and I was supposed to drive down and pick him up because we had a we had a show in West Virginia, uh-huh. and uh, and he doesn't want to hear any answers like that. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I can't get the car. That's yeah. a slap in the. That's a yeah. <laughs> that's a <demerit. laughs> Yeah. And uh, get your assistant to get you a car. <laughs> and uh, I, 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 
a dude Hertz swears that they rent cars to people that are under 25. They're like their whole like one of their whole logan or slogans is like, uh, oh, under 25, we got you covered. And then I went and they were like shocked when I had them the ID. They were like, we don't have any of the cars that we can give you. They're like, we can put you on a wait list. They got a Toyota with training wheels. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'm like, who's renting a car that's able to be put on a wait list? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Usually yeah, it's like, I got to go right now. I'm not just going for a cruise, <laughs> yeah. dude. I can't wait till tomorrow for the fucking Toyota. Oh, wait, so you were supposed to drive down to D.C. and pick him up? Yeah. And take him where? Uh, we were supposed to go to West Virginia. Okay. So how did you work that out? I got a zip car, and then I got banned from zip car. Because you weren't 25. No, so zip car, you can rent under 25, but they're going out of business. So if, if you do, like, one thing wrong, they'll shut you down. They, they, they're looking for reasons to what ban people's accounts. What did you do accounts. wrong? I was late returning the car by, like, three hours, and they were, like, calling me and shit, and then the account, they're like, your account's not registered anymore. Huh. But you saved the heat from Francis. I did. Francis fucked me on that, by the way. Why? I, I, why the fuck am I driving to Walmart? I could have just taken a train. We could have Ubered to the place that we were going. And then we, the whole thing was like, oh, it'll be He's easier. He's trying to learn you. Trying yeah. to school you. It was the whole thing was like, we could, well, we could, it'll be easier. We can just drive. We don't have to get in. Because we were doing it in the middle of nowhere. We were doing a casino in literally the middle of nowhere in West Virginia. Like, it would have taken us, I, I would be surprised if we could even have gotten an Uber. And... We're going home, and he's like, by the way, I'm not actually going back to New York. He's like, I, I, I'm i going to my sister's house in Maryland. So he's like, you can just drop me off like 10 minutes into the drive. So then I just had to drive eight hours back by myself. <laughs> oh, fuck that. Yeah, you should have been on a train. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I... <laughs> He's got a fresh bottle of rosé. Yeah. <laughs> He's got his bathing suit on. <laughs> That's a real funny dynamic, man. Yeah, you too, yeah. Hey, you I, stick with him. He's a classy guy. Yeah, he's Francis is a good guy. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I don't, I, I can't, I can't call him try. Nah. I can't call him try. He's nah. young. He's a young boy. You know what I mean? I think you're fucking killing it. I think. I mean, are you starting to? You can get a vacuum, get a broom, start with that yeah, for yeah. the apartment. You, you can tighten it up. Yeah. Do you definitely. have interest in those kind of things? A vacuum and a broom? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have interest in those? What are your thoughts on a Roomba? <laughs> yeah. I bring in a floor model. Yeah. I'm trying to sell you an Electrolux. <laughs> no, but like, do you, are you at the age now where you want to like start being more grown up in, the, in those no. things or you're not really thinking about 22. it? Don't give a shit. Dude. 20 fucking two. Dude, I was a fucking mess. You were a mess a couple of months ago. <laughs> the problem now. is I don't have, no, I don't have any, like, I think I could live how I live forever. And that's, I that's, that's the young kid thing, of course. Yeah. I'm the same way. But it's also you have to look at like his influences are other 22-year-old kids sure. and or stand-up comics who yeah. are us. So it's like, it's not like he has a group of friends who is like, you know, stockbrokers and shit. Yeah. Who's your favorite singer? Oh, Bob Dylan. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Been a Bob Dylan fan for a while. Huh. Love who are you Dylan. listening to now? Who do you like that's that's cool now? I just want to know in case anybody asks me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. I, don't, I, I, I can look at what my music, all my music saved is like fucking. Who's your favorite actor? Favorite actor. Oh, it's a tough one. Right now, who do you like? I go through big phases. Right now, I'm going on a big Jason Bateman phase. This kid's all right, man. Bateman? Bateman's not bad. Bateman I mean, fucking always, rules. Yeah. What are you talking about? Leo. I mean, obviously, Leo's hey, everything. Of Leo's course. I don't, I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I mean. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. You got to get 22, though. Kid's classy, man. I you can't say it. that. I'm not saying he's, he's not awesome. Kill- no one's denying <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Definitely awesome. Yeah. His squad sounds awesome. He's got his buddy out on a ranch. But he is a dirtbag. He's 22 years I know. old. I know. We'll have to revisit in a couple of years. How <laughs> about that? Are you reading anything? Do you read? I, I, no. Okay. I, I try to. Okay. What are you trying to read? Uh, I read Sam Talent's book. It was really good. Okay. I yeah. read. Uh, Shout out to Sammy T. I read. I read all of Charles Bukowski's books. Okay. I read uh, all of Jack Kerouac's books. Okay. I, I mean, twenty-two-year-old reading this shit has his own apartment. In the yeah, West but I think that, that that that's who those books are for. Yeah, but that, I bet you read *Fear of Living Las Vegas* too. Oh yeah. 
That but I would awesome. say that, I didn't read those though. I would say yeah, there's but you're not a drug guy. He's not a drug guy either. No, but Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas is phenomenal. Of course, and I would say kids your your age now, they're not that connected to those those things. Yes, those were. But I mean, most twenty two year old kids aren't saying their famous their favorite singer is Bob Dylan. Yeah, uh, I I would say that no one under the age of thirty can talk shit to you because <laughs> you're no. fucking killing it. I yeah. can't talk shit to him. Uh, people, I, I will. Yeah, <laughs> people can. Yeah. Yeah. People can and do. Yeah, yeah. I got to show this to everyone from high school. Yeah, they said no one can talk you shit these, to me. You see these two fat bald losers? They said you don't be mean to me. I come up here and tune these yeah. up. Do you have a watch? I got a Fitbit. Okay. <laughs> Even that's responsible. But I haven't worn it in a fucking year. Ah, <sighs> bad. I listen. Yeah. I say you're classy. I say you're doing all right. Thank He's you. doing all right. I'll give him that. That's that's that'll be my call. He's doing all right. He's doing all right. I don't want to like go for anything. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to like steer you guys. No, I'm no. trying just genuinely the I. But I think if you saw how I lived, you would not say I'm. <laughs> it's not a. It's I, not that's a what I'm saying. I don't lifestyle. think you're classy. Yeah, you're not. He's not classy. Where are you getting your toilet paper? And how many rolls of toilet paper are in the house? I ordered a bunch on Amazon fucking when I moved in. I still have a bunch. And where is that sitting? Is it in a closet? Or <laughs> no, it's in a box in the living room. Uh, see? <laughs> okay. All right. You got paper towels in the house? I do. How it's many t- bath towels do you own? One. Just 22. Just 22, though. I have two, and I'm 40. <laughs> like, I only have two because I'm married. Where are you putting the uh, the bath towel when you're done with it? Is it hanging over the door in your bedroom, or is it behind? It's the- got. There's a. I just found out recently. There's a hook on the door, so I put it up on that. You just found out recently. Doing a little snooping know. around, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I should call the guy who lived do you here have before. A, do you have a rug in the living room? A carpet or anything? No, like no rugs. I got to get all this shit. I was just thinking about this the other day. I got to get all this shit. You just moved in. Yeah, but I, the thing is, like, I, the only reason I would get any of this stuff is because it's like the what people suggest do. that you yeah. do. Like, so sure. if people come you over, you don't want it. You're not like, oh my god, I need to get yeah, a car. I'm not like, I, oh, I don't feel the comfortable rug? in my house yeah. with the rug. Let me here. ask you this: When your friends come over to your house, what do they say? This place is great, or they're like, what the fuck are you doing? No one's really been there. Huh. Ah, my buddy, my buddy came over actually recently, but he we were. We came over for like an hour. We were hammered, and we fell asleep. And then he woke up at like six a.m. because he had to get to get on a train. He was probably pumped that he had a couch. There's was a couch to sleep on. Yeah. Brand new couch. Where'd you get the couch from? Amazon. Sorry. Yeah, man. It's a good couch. It's a good, it's a comfortable couch. couch. You'd think twice about making that noise if you came and sat on that couch. <laughs> He's using a piece of toilet paper as a pillow. Yeah. It's what a be damn that kind couch. of shit if you were a blackout drunk in my apartment. It's a hell of a couch. I've actually slept on the couch by choice multiple times. Sure. It's yeah. right by the TV. I did sure. it last night. I did it last night. It's, you, dude, it's good. Will you fall asleep nice. watching TV? Uh, I can, but also a part of me, I can't, like, I, I get too, like, I, you ever throw on a podcast when you're going to bed? Yeah. Sure. But I, I, then I end up, I'm like, dude, I'm, I've been listening to this podcast for two hours with my eyes closed. Like, I'll, 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 I'll only do it when I'm drunk. I have to be, like, really fucked yeah. up. Yeah. If I'll, I'm fucked up, I can put on anything and fall asleep. Sure. Yeah. So when you go to bed at night, usually, are you going, you're turning everything off? All the lights off in your room? All the lights are off. I try. Like, I, I always am like, I want to listen to a podcast. I'll throw a podcast on, and then an hour in, I'm like, I'm not going to fall asleep if this stays on. So you go to bed with complete darkness. That's pretty Hanging weird. from his ankles. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> weird, dude. That's, yeah. Ooh, man. The yeah. taxi driver. I don't know. He's a weird... I'm not saying he's not weird. He's, well, he's a weird kid. He's the enigma, dude. Yeah. He's a weird, <laughs> trashy, successful... Strange, strange 16, old soul. 16, 72 year old. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Let's fly Maybe fishing can... for a vacation. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? No one's done that since my pop In the wrong no, season, when, though. I will say, when we were on that vacation, we were like, dude, next time let's just go somewhere nice. Yeah. And just sit on a fucking chair and yeah. all fucked up. Yeah. yeah. You're moose hunting in fucking yeah. Iceland. Yeah. It, it was cra- Dude, we would just drive all day because you got to drive everywhere and then we would just get and we'd go to like, we'd find the one bar in Iceland and we would. You guys ever have gulls? No. no. It's like the light beer out there. They're damn good. Yeah. Good beer. Couple of gulls. Couple put of them down. gulls. Yeah. If I was an Gull Iceland, o'clock. if I was an Icelandic state trooper and I pulled you two over, I'd have a lot of questions. Yeah, dude. There's 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 none. There is no laws out there. Yeah, it's pretty wide open. I think. There's. I think that I looked up. There's like 700 police officers in the entire country. Come Jesus. Get me. 
Yikes. We saw one police officer the whole time. No trouble, though. Ah. Everyone kind of governs themselves. Yeah, I mean, everyone's so spread out. I'm sure, like, Reykjavik, we didn't go to Reykjavik for that long, which is, like, the major city. But I'm sure there they probably have more police. Hmm. No. It is. I mean, we're gonna have to do. I mean, we should. This should be like a hundred percent. How the show grew. We should check in with you every every two years. Yeah. Come in and see where you're at. Take shows pictures of your apartment. It's yeah. probably gonna get a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> Lose the couch. Yeah. yeah you like, you guys cool to... if I crash here after <laughs> we record? <laughs> yeah. I would. Li- I would. I would like. To, I would like to see you a year from now. Yeah. Yeah. I'd One year down. from now. I'd love to. I bet he's time. real classy a year from now. Mm-mm. No. That's, That's my only prediction. time will tell. I just don't think it, it, a year with Francis. Yeah, but dude, Francis, he, we just grew up so different. Like my my dad's not classy. My dad grew up in Long Island. Okay, Ooh, comes from dirt bags. <laughs> yeah, it's and my mom. Yeah, my mom grew up in Hyannis in Cape Cod. That's mm. nice though, isn't it? Mm, Hyannis is not nice. Isn't Cape Cod? I thought Cape Cod was. Yeah, nice. I think there's obviously different parts of it. He- he- Hyannis has a fucking heroin problem, bad. Okay, but all masters. There's nothing stars. wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> all right, we gotta wrap it up though. Little sass. Yeah, thanks for having me. Man. Yeah, Buddy, man, of course. Awesome. Fucking fantastic. Such a fun format. Anything Thank you want you. the folks out there to know? What do you got coming up? Let me just hop onto Little Sasquatch website and see what we got coming <laughs> That's up. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> LittleSasquatch.com is available, by the way. Yeah, I don't know what the hell we were thinking with that. You got to talk to your team. Talk to the other four guys. <laughs> I, fucking, I fucking wish this was coming out this week because could really use that bump on Ontario. <laughs> I'm going to be in, uh, I guess like, I could definitely use it on this, Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama, baby. Stand up live. I'm going to mm-hmm. be there July 14th, the 15th, and then I want to say I'm going to be in fucking uh, Atlanta at some point in July, too, so keep an eye out for okay. that. Okay. There are a bunch of, of homies and bozos in Atlanta. Yeah. Go check out SASS. 100%. Super funny. Fucking fantastic. Yeah, great hang. Man. And Philly. Yeah. And, and uh, Philly. Philly, go see the boys. That's in August. Philly, in go August. see him. Yeah. Go see him for sure. Buddy, we love you. We can't yeah, thank thanks, you enough. Thank you guys for having me. What do you got for him? Uh, we're all over the road. We're announcing uh, the second leg of the tour for the fall and winter. Big drop coming soon. Get man. those tickets because a lot of those markets are going to sell out. So get them while they last. Thanks for the support. We love you. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace.